there's a you ever you ever been out uh, I mean I don't do a lot of camping I've been camping twice I think one time I have a, a very good friend my oldest friend uh, Fritz who um, who I've known for half a century now and he was into um, World War One reenactment many years ago twenty years ago and uh, these World War One um, and actors reenactors had this property a long way out of town. You had to drive for two hours. This giant piece of property. And on that property, they dug trenches. And they dug um, dugouts. Excuse me. And there was no man's land and barbed wire. And there were, uh, they would plant um, little puff charges to make sure of, uh, you know, so they could run through the middle of the night, be two o'clock in the morning. I'm down there. I'm wearing a German uniform. I'm not wearing a, I'm not wearing a, a Wehrmacht uniform, not wearing a Nazi helmet, but I'm wearing a German helmet, and I've got a, I've got a, a Gewehr in my hand, and um, and I'm firing blanks at other idiots. And it was an all-night thing, and uh, it was cold. And being an American uh, in the 21st century, I am not used to being uncomfortable. But there's something to be said for it. So we were in this... Um, we were in this dugout, and things were quiet, and there were like guards. We had our guys watching No Man's Land. And we'd been running around, physically moving around, doing this idiocy uh, for hours and hours and hours. And what they brought, what, what dinner consisted of was, was, was a trench dinner. They came in with a piece of, um, with a big, big, big hunk of French bread, a giant nasty salami, and a big piece of cheese, and some water, some warm water. And you could cut that bread and put a big, thick slice of that um, salami on it, and cut a wedge of cheese, put that all together, and take a bite out of that. And I swear I have not ever experienced anything more delicious in my life. It was just unspeakably delicious. Um, so there's a lot to be said for this. People wonder why bad things happen to us. You know, it's like, well, bad things happen to us because if they didn't, we wouldn't appreciate the good things. And when bad things happen to you, it takes a certain level of uh, pain to experience this. And I don't know that many people get there, but when you have had enough of this beaten into you, you realize that when something bad is happening to you, like, you know, losing a lot of your members, you realize that's a lesson. And you realize that it's being done to you because God loves you. Because if he didn't, he would not waste his time putting all of these obstacles in your way in order to toughen you up and to, uh, and to increase your skill level. And, and basically, it's, it's like what, what he's doing is he's, he's running you through the simulator. He's given you big problems, but not fatal problems. And when you solve those big problems or go through the pain of them one way or another, you end up stronger. And that's why, uh, that's why we have um, bad things happen to us because uh, because we're very dear and um, and this is how you build strong people. <laughs>